What's going down, everybody? All of the Sega mascots that I can find in one picture, 84 here. So, yeah, what are we doing? Well, we got Sega Gaga. Let's hit A or start. Yeah, we got Sega Gaga. We got this set. Now, I'm very proud and happy to have this. Uh, this is an early Christmas present to me. And, um, yeah, uh, it's it's just kind of a limited rare set. I, I got it for around 160 so I totally bit the bullet. It hurt for a while, but I'm being extremely frugal right now. But, um, hey, this is something I, say, I can say that I have. I remember reading uh, Sega Gaga uh, articles online, and uh, the Dreamcast Junkyard guys were talking about how this was a coveted piece and how they haven't had it and everything. And that, that's what spurred me to want to get it. Plus, um, yeah, let, let's just go ahead and show pictures of this thing. But, um, yeah, like... I. I wanted to get a limited edition set that wasn't a visual novel thing, and I wanted a set to kind of represent my game collection as a whole, and I was kind of thinking between the Space Channel 5, the Jet, D Daylight Jet Set Radio set, and this one. And I decided to go with this one because this is a game about Sega's downfall. And um, it's just about how they're trying to stay relevant. And there are fan translations that are in the works. There's uh, one that's been in the works for the last, I don't know, five, six years or something. I've heard about it for a while now. And, yeah, uh, let me open up the set while I'm talking about it because you're probably caught up with what I'm talking about. Um, you may or may not have seen the uh, T-shirt, which I'm not taking out of the bag. I just don't want to. Looks like there may be a design behind on the back. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm just going to leave that in the bag. I, I really want to leave t-shirts in pristine condition if I come across them. And you might be looking at the uh, game case and manual. Um, there was a Love Heine game that I had, and it has kind of the same type case. So, this is not the only type case I have. I, it's kind of strange how it looks like you could put two discs in there, but... There's only one in the case, but it reminds me of working at uh, an old movie chain. Let's not say which one, but I used to work. Uh, I used to work in a movie rental store, and you know you'd come across game cases or uh, DVD cases like that. And uh, I don't know uh, the manual. A lot of the pages look the same. This is very text heavy. It's an RPG, and um, yeah, this is just a, a really cool set to have. It's coveted. People want this for some reason. And I, I think it's uh, pretty cool for all of the sets that you can come across. Um, yeah, and I really like the add-ons and the cool stuff. Um, there's this planner, and it looks like something that you would see on uh, you know, Yu Suzuki's desk or something that you would see for, um, you know, the... Uh, what's that other guy, the d director guy? Um... I forgot his name. His name escapes me right now. It's, uh... Oh, man. Sega Shiro or something. Anyway, I don't want to beat myself up for, for just, uh... Not remembering something right now, but, um... You know, Yakawa. Director Yakawa. Yeah. Can't believe I forgot his name for... Because I've, I've done the Yakawa keychain review here recently, but, um... Yeah, uh... It's just a regular planner. It's got cool stuff in it. It's got some cool pieces of paper in the beginning. It's just kind of, uh... I don't know. It's just a cool little collector's piece. Um, I have it in this little plastic bag, which I can take out and take back in pretty easy, but I uh, don't want to take it out too many times. I mostly just want to keep this in the box and just say I have it and just take the game out and play it every now and then, but um, there's that. Um, you may have seen all the pictures now. Uh, there's this little box right here, and it, it just has a little, you know, wooden box in there. It's like whatever, but I think it's like the coolest part of the set. It's the um, little pins. I might have spoiled it for you, but um, nice looking box. Very nice. I don't know if it has like an etched engraving or if it's carved in or burnt in. But it, the little Sega Gaga logo is SGGG. Kind of looks like a 666. It's kind of like on the back of the uh, 
Sonic Adventure 1 Japanese version. It has a 666. Six characters, six modes, six something, something, something. Kind of weird. Uh, the Dreamcast Swirl kind of looks like two sixes in and of themselves, but we've talked about that briefly on this channel before. But uh, these pins look really nice. And, you know, of course I favor the Dreamcast one the most because I'm a Dreamcast person. I'm out there talking about Dreamcast stuff and not talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> like Dreamcast guy. Let's talk about him. Not being an actual Dreamcast guy. And then for an April Fool's video, he reviews all of the games just by reading from a list. He's not doing actual videos like I am, but I'm not going to get a big head about it. I'm just some uh, small town, small time YouTuber. Oh, and I was thinking about MGTOW too, and how um, like that a bunch of MGTOW channels are getting de demonetized right now. And... Um, I'm kind of a MGTOW channel. I've I've never asked for money. I've never had my hand out like that, you know. And um, it's it's just crazy, man. These, these channels are gonna get deleted. Every, you know, like yeah, it's just bad times, man. I mean, um, I think uh, YouTube is owned by a feminist, so yeah, and they're gonna say that we're hate speech, but then like not do anything about angry feminists who want to kill and rape and castrate men. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, there's real hate speech out there towards men, but there's a double standard where you can't talk of, you know what I mean? You can't, like, be critical or, like, fat, you can't talk about facts about hypergamy and gynocentrism. You know what I mean? Like, you're you're a bigot if you talk about truth. It doesn't make any sense. Or to just uh, thoughtfully explain or explain in a positive way why you're going your own way. These are thoughts I have, but uh, this is an awesome set. And uh, it's good for any MGTOW out there. And uh, any video out there that has MGTOW going through like some search engine thing, they're going to delete this video. So uh, consider yourself privileged if you see this video before the, uh, you know, the thought police comes and takes you down. But uh, let's hope maybe things don't go down like that, quite like that. But uh, Sega Gaga, man, there's not much to say. It's just text heavy and uh, people have been waiting for the... Um, fan translations for a good long time and just it's it just I guess it's just so text heavy that it's just not it's just not you know and um, I might be keeping you a little bit I'm not gonna keep you for like 13 minutes I'll keep I'm here it's like eight minutes but um yeah it's a very nice looking set very sleek looks it's just white box blue lettering very simple to the point just nice it's just a nice little box and uh, the cool the stuff that's in there is way cooler than some of the other stuff but uh, I think it's kind of comparable to like those clocks that you get and stuff I, I have some cool sets and uh, yeah uh, Sega Gaga look at that glare man that Sun right there it's amazing it's amazing but um, yeah Sega Gaga man That's what she said, <laughs> you know.
Digimon. Reminds me of Digimon, because I think that there's this little brown-headed boy that's a Digimon thing. And I think that... I was thinking Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! But I kind of know what it looks like. But I think I think Digimon is is more, you know, akin to this or whatever. Awesome logo, but it, it still looks like sixes to me. S for Satan and three sixes. <laughs> Let's not go there. I tested this earlier, and um, I just hit the first option. You know how we do. We don't know what we're doing. But one thing's for certain, we're doing it. So that's what we do in America. We're not, we don't know what we're doing, but we do it and we're loud and we're proud and you better get used to it because we ain't, hey, you know, we're going to rev up our motorcycles and disturb peace. Alright, yeah. It, I'm just tapping the A button as fast as I can. I understand why people want fan translations of this, and I really want to burn a copy of that or just buy it on Etsy. I don't care. I just. This needs to be in English. This screams that it needs to be in English. This is. Um, I want to say this is one of the last Sega produced games for the Dreamcast, but I know Karis Crows is the last retail discs that they pressed and put on a machine and threw, threw out at us, but uh, it's awesome. I, I was laughing earlier because y you saw this awesome like anime drawing of like the Sega building. It looks very futuristic and awesome and then they just switched to like the, the regular offices. It's like the the real life picture of this, the entrance of Sega headquarters in Japan. And just, it's ridiculous. Um, I, not everyone would laugh at that, but um, I find it hilarious. I bet you this game has some good humor in it, but we just don't get it. And we won't. And there's just going to be stuff lost in translation and stuff. And it's really tough to translate stuff in Asian countries. Um, like dubbed movies and stuff. It's... Um, I don't know. I just feel like a whole lot is lost with the humor and stuff, but um, I'm just thinking about Big Man Japan. That's what she said literally. She literally just said that. She said Sega Gaga. I have like 25 minutes on this tablet <laughs> before the tablet memory is uh, used up, but um, yeah, I take. I film on the tablet and then I transfer this information onto an SD card and then I hook it up to my laptop. I have this little um, adapter thing because I, I can't stick it straight into my laptop, which is cool because I've had that thing for a while and now it's serving a purpose. This little sand disk uh, adapter thing. I love figuring stuff out and then actually using it. Oh, you have to pick options. I need to switch up with my options. Okay, things are going to get confusing. Um, 
I, I can't help but look right at her breasts. It's just, just, it's in your face. It's just like they're, <laughs> they're pointing right at me. Those blocks that say unknown, I thought, I think it said Uno. It's like UNO. I don't know. What is this? It's unfair, or whatever it is. It's like stats. Oh, you can uh, equip your jacket. Man, this game looks fun, but I can't rate it high because you just can't play it. But hey, it's going to beat a visual novel score because. What do we give visual novels? We, we normally give them like a middle of the road. F no, actually, if they're unplayable, they're like a two. And if they make you laugh, I'll give it like a three. Um, with this, you want to you want to play it. There's a little, little bottle of prune juice of that cough syrup. Probably health, you know. This needs to be like Resident Evil. There needs to be an herb, a, a red herb and a green herb. And then you're supposed to mix it with something, but you never figure it out because you didn't read a tutorial or uh, look at a guide or a game fact. Is this uh, pictures? Is it uh, movies? I think it's unlocked movies. <laughs> it's awesome that Sega Sega headquarters is just this towering build it, building. Is that supposed to be Director Yakawa? Because he's like made up to be like more masculine. <laughs> he's kind of like a just some nerdy looking guy. But if that's y Director Yakawa, that's hilarious. One would assume that. Um, I really like the box set. The box set deserves a straight 10 out of 10, and it's just a piece of Sega memorabilia. It's just a piece of history. It's a, it's a t-shirt, a little planner, little pin set. It's a very respectable, nice-looking, like, just professional-looking, mature... Uh, you know, just this nice thing to have. I can't really articulate it, but the set is great. The game looks great, but I can't give it a 10, guys. I just can't. Um, it's nice to have. Um, I'm going to be super forgiving, and I want to justify the set, but... Oh, man. As cool as it is... <sighs> I, I can't give it anything really super high. I'm going to give it a 6.5, the game, because there's language barrier. I, I really want to rate it higher, but I just can't. I can't. This is a 6.5. Look, look, look at look at this. The game looks so cool. That looks like Pepsi Man. Only that's not. Or, um... Who's that Marvel guy? The, um... I think he's got a big old F on his. He's like this guy with a bucket on his head. Yeah, there's some Marvel uh, anti-hero, spoof hero guy. I was thinking about how parody stuff makes me like things more. Like the uh, There's like funny YouTube videos about Star Wars stuff, and it just makes me like Star Wars more. I have no idea any of these characters. Who are they? I believe I played this before on a, on a burnt copy, but it's really nice to have the retail disc. But I'm going to give the set a 10 out of 10. Hey, random battles. It's cool to see what one looks like. 6.5, unfortunately. I know it's it's kind of high for what it is, but... Man, maybe we could do Google Translate. I think this is a game that's worth it. I, I'm not really big into RPGs, but... I like giving RPGs a shot. And I love, like, Fantasy Star 2 on Genesis. I love... Yeah, and this, this kind of reminds me of Fantasy Star 2. The um, turn-based stuff kind of reminds me of... Um, Skies of Arcadia, because that Skies of Arcadia had random battles, too. I'm not so crazy into RPGs where that's, you know, where I'm just an RPG guy. Uh, more power to you if you are an RPG guy. I bet you these are real developers and stuff that had a chance to be in the game, which is really cool. I, I, I would love to be a part of some project like that. People make, like, fan fan games for like angry video game nerds and stuff like that um there was this like pc game it was like um what was it like yobo's revenge or something um it was like some double dragon character i might have all of this information wrong and i, I think i got the name wrong 
No, uh, Yabobo, Abobo, Abobo, that's what it is. It was like Abobo's Revenge or something. It was hilarious. I played that on, it's like a, I want to say it's a Flash game, but I think Flash games are out. Um, Flash games are going to be this archaic uh, thing of the past. Because of something with the, it's like harder to make Flash games or things don't support Flash anymore. I don't know. Let me check my times. After this battle, let me check my time. I wonder what that is. It's just text. I probably don't have the uh, volume up enough. Let me uh, turn the volume up just for... Just to show you what it's, you know, so you can hear it. Like a Marty McFly jacket. Things are kind of bleeding into each other. I was watching uh, L.A. No, um, L.A. Confidential, and I was like, "Man, I really want to watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit now." <laughs> and now I'm thinking about Marty McFly jackets, like that self-cleaning, self-drying jacket. Is that just a fan? I'm talking too much over this, but I think you heard enough of the uh, background music. But this is this is great. I love this game, man. It's a 6.5. I just wish that I could understand it more. It's just... Ugh. That kid looks like a young Marty McFly with that jacket. I, I want that jacket. I want that jacket more than I want a Ryo Hizuki bomber jacket. <laughs> it's hard to beat Sega fans like that. Sega Gaga. Let's talk to this guy. This guy, yeah. Can you get? I guess you can't get around him. You have to fight him. Maybe he is a. Yeah, you got to fight the guy. <laughs> Why is his face blurred out like the uh, trailer park boys' cats? You like? game is silly. I've already said everything I need to say. Box set is a straight 10. It's just uh, a coveted piece. People want it and um, it's awesome. This needs to be translated bad and uh, the game is a 6.5. I think I'm being forgiving enough. It definitely looks great. It's just something you want to play. It's a piece of history and other than that I don't know what to tell you. A Compolo C rest. What? Hey, back to square one. That's good. Hey, man, if this is square one, I'm 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 doing good. Hey, you can save. That is cool, man. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all have a good one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah.